today I am reaching out in the hopes that enough is enough will listen to sort of my my pleas. Now, this is not going against anything that enough is enough is doing or saying. If anything, this my message to them is they need to add and build on their support and on the platform that they have to help at least 16.2 million people here in the UK. Now, I understand the focus of your campaign being on working people here in the UK and the support that they need. I I am very, very supportive of your aims and your demands as part of the campaign. But here in the UK at the moment, we have yet another crisis building. And I know it can be overwhelming sometimes when you think about the number of things that we refer to in the UK as a crisis. But this is yet another crisis. And this is a crisis for SMEs. I suppose you'd call it the SME crisis. Or to, to people who don't know what SME stands for, it's small and medium enterprises. And these are very much the backbone of businesses here in the UK, of towns, cities, SMEs are our future companies, our future internationals. Tories love to talk about, oh, the unicorns. Well, unicorns come from this type of places. Innovation in the UK is mostly being driven by SME companies. And you've got Jacob Rees-Mogg, the business minister, coming in and, you know, not even wanting to help to offer support. Instead, he is going to go down the path of deregulation, which is something we should absolutely fight against. But let me get this straight. I'm not talking about, you know, the big multinational CEO who needs help and support. I'm not talking about them because this is who, when we talk about, I, I see people talk about, you know, business. That's mainly seems to be who they're referring to. But SMEs are run by hundreds of, you know, different type, types of people. And very often that multinational, you know, CEO you're, you're very often referring to has nothing to do with these types of companies. I'm talking about maybe a woman who runs a cafe and maybe employs five or six, seven people to help run that cafe from chefs to waiters. That's maybe what she needs to help run that cafe. And that's her livelihood and puts her heart and soul into running that business. And through that, the people who work for her are then supported. But it is not going to go well when, as we have heard, that even though there has been a package announced by, you know, Liz Truss very recently, which is not enough, the fact that nothing has been mentioned for businesses, and instead there is going to be a three-month review to see if, you know, what can be done for businesses, just as you are making the case that working people and people in the UK need help now, so do these SME businesses. And if you do not help them, the consequences for the people you are now supporting could be dire. They could be losing their jobs because these small to medium companies can't survive for the next two or three months, or they look at the cost of their energy and go, well, we have to downsize or we have to make redundancies in order to survive. And let me make it clear, we are going into bad times now. Everyone agrees. But the more companies we help support and through this hard time, the better we will be at the end of it. The easier it will be to help us get out of this situation. Businesses cannot afford to wait three months, at least for this review to be done, and then 
who knows how long um, it will be before this review or stuff in this review gets put into practice or if the review <laughs> even gets taken up at all. Businesses cannot afford to wait. Just as you make the case very often that, you know, people in the UK cannot wait for support. So too can these SMEs not wait for support. So I would ask people in the enough in the enough is enough campaign. SMEs businesses need support because just as you are supporting the people, well, it's not as, we, as I made the case earlier. If you know that small cafe that the person who is you know working at to, to make sure that they've got, you know, maybe enough money from to pay their bills. Well, if that business is closed because they can't pay their energy bills, and it's not just the case of one, we are looking at a lot of businesses looking at this winter going, well, how can we survive? And a lot of them, unfortunately, are going to have to make some very, very, um, difficult decisions in the next coming weeks and months. Decisions they may not want to make because there is no support to help them through this time. So I would hope that you take up this 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 challenge and this message because if it doesn't, we're looking at yet another disaster that could affect millions of people in this country.